As we commemorate Women's Month, we celebrate trailblazer Dr. Sien Proctor. She's a leading lady who's passionate about transforming the world through science. Her late father worked for NASA during the Apollo mission, inspired Dr. Proctor to relentlessly pursue her dreams of becoming an astronaut. I was more afraid that I, was, I would lose the opportunity. So from selection to going to space, I had to qualify as the mission pilot. And if I didn't qualify, I didn't fly. And it was during COVID, you can't get hurt, you can't get sick. You know, there were ways in which this childhood dream could have been stripped away from me. So I was far more terrified that I would lose the opportunity. After her master's in geology, she went to lecture at a community college in Arizona in the United States of America. Dr. Proctor says she still yearned for more and reaching the stars reignited her passion for science. After her PhD in science education, Dr. Proctor knew that she was destined for a higher purpose. As a way of paying it forward, Dr. Proctor is currently touring South Africa and engaging with school children to share her remarkable journey in space and her passion for science technology, engineering, maths, and art. Dr. Proctor says she wants young women to be at the forefront at driving change, breaking gender stereotypes, and being able to open new opportunities. Education is opportunity. And so learn, always learn new things. Be an explorer. Being an explorer is not about learning something new for humanity. Being an explorer is about learning something new for yourself every single day. And if you become an explorer, it will change your world. And, and so it's all about your space to inspire and letting your earth light shine. And that's, if they can hold on to those things, then they will go places they never ever imagined. Maybe even outer space. Despite her outstanding achievements, Dr. Proctor has had to endure countless challenges as a black woman in her career field. She says challenges inspire her to continue taking up space. The thing about being a woman of color is that when you walk into the room, the first thing that they see is you're a black woman. And it gets exhausting having to prove that you belong in that room again and again and again. I have my doctorate. I've traveled and taught around the world. I'm the mission pilot for, you know, um, I'm the first black woman to pilot a spaceship. But when I walk into a room, nobody knows that. And so what they see is me as a black woman and all the stereotypes that come with that. And so it's a challenge to have to prove yourself again and again and again. Dr. Proctor says science has allowed her to also pursue her other passion, art, because creativity and imagination lead to innovation. As we solve for space, we're solving for Earth. And so as humanity goes back to the moon, but to stay and to create settlements there, we need to be efficient in food, water, energy, resource management, waste management, shelter, all of these things. And all of that technology and information and knowledge is created here on Earth. And, and then we spin that technology off to make us more sustainable on planet Earth because there is no better planet than our planet. And so as we go out there and explore, we are doing it for Earth. Dr. Prater says she wants to leave behind a legacy that would outlive this generation and for black women to break through the ceiling and take up space. Nom Tigalelom Tabela, SABC News, Johannesburg.